I want you to remember this. You know, we live in a society where everybody wants to expose everybody. They want to expose what you're doing, what you're not doing. But the Bible says this very clear warning. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Why does he say that, right? Because God don't play about he is. Now, I'm going to tell you about a man named Abraham. He moved into this new city, this new town with his wife, Sarah. He loves Sarah dearly. Sarah got it going on, right? Sarah's beautiful. So beautiful, the Bible says that. You know, Abraham is afraid that Pharaoh will want to wife his wife, okay? So he lies and says that this is his sister. And so Pharaoh does pursue Sarah, right? Invites her into the palace, wants to wife her up, making a move. And God comes to Pharaoh in a dream. And he says, what are you doing? Touch not my prophet and do him no harm. Don't you know whose wife this is? So the Lord came in his dream and put the fear of God in him. And child of God, he will do that about you regarding people who are putting their mouth on you. See, God is so kind. And he's so gracious that he will even come into your dreams. He will send messengers. He will send warnings like, don't touch that one. I don't care if you think that they are not doing this right. Don't put your mouth on that one. But some people have to learn the hard way. But lucky for Pharaoh, he feared God. And he told Sarah, honey, go on back to where you came from. He said, Abraham, go on back to where you came from. And here's some gold and silver to take with you. Because you're about to get me cut up in this place, right? He had the fear of God. Now, was Abraham in the right? Not really. He lied, right? Because... You know, he should have told Pharaoh that that was his wife, but he didn't, right? But God still covered him. And that's why I say it's so dangerous for people to put their mouth on a man or woman of God. And, you know, when you do that, when you put your mouth on a man or woman of God that is anointed, that is a prophet, do you know you bring sickness to your body? Do you know you can bring illness to your body and all kinds of uh, disease and all kinds of lack and sickness in, in your health, physically, mentally, spiritually, because you put your mouth on a prophet or an anointed person? It is not worth it. And I tell people all the time not to scare you. But if you have an issue, you better take it to God. <laughs> you better go into the secret place and let that be between you and God and let him help you figure it out. It is not worth going over to your neighbor and gossiping and saying something negative about a man. I'm telling you, you mess around and you can't come back from that kind of stuff. So be very careful because God don't play about his children. He don't play. No, 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 no. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm.